hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening depends where you're watching from this is global message tv as you know i thank you all uh our subscribers our viewers if this is your first time also of uh, watching our video please uh, kindly help your brother by hitting on the red subscribe button as you do this you promote my youtube channel and uh, almighty god will still promote your own business thank you it doesn't cost any money to you know subscribe also hit on the um, notification uh, sign that's the button that looks like bell so that when we make any video you will be among the first people to you know get the notification thank you very much uh, for viewing watching sharing and uh, commenting um the news is all about uh, you know um Tanko Mohammed, you can see him smiling. You know, today is his brighter new day. It's a new day at all, in fact. So it has been a long time since January 25th. He has been uh, in the office as acting, you know, CGN. But today he has been confirmed uh, in the Senate as the, the Chief Justice of Nigeria. So that's why he's laughing. You can watch his face smile everywhere. So the CG, uh, the CGN, you know, today, as uh, rightly said, the Senate today being Wednesday confirmed the appointment of Justice Tanko Mohammed as the substantive Chief Justice of Nigeria. You know, the Red Chamber had on arrival of Mohammed Mohammed into the chamber gone into a closed session to set the template for the screening. Mohammed, who arrived at the Senate at 10 minutes after 10 a.m., was uh, ushered into the chamber around uh, 13 minutes after 11 a.m. He was uh, accompanied to the Red Chamber by the top judiciary officers in the country. That's how you, you know, go today. So the CGN answered the questions on corruption, administration of criminal justice, and the poor fundings of judiciary. Okay, well watch it. Muhammad has been, you know, acting CGN since uh, 25th January when the CGN, that is the then CGN, Justice Water Honor him, was suspended from the office over alleged corruption practices. So, President Muhammad Obuari had uh, even last Thursday forwarded the Senate, uh, the Senate a letter requesting the confirmation of, uh, you know, Muhammad as the substantive chief uh, justice of uh, Nigeria. The president, the, in the letter of request, said the nomination was sequel to recommendation made to the effect by the National Judiciary Council. Yes, they were the people that did it for us, you know. And the, the president now um, sent the letter to the Senate to confirm it because the the, the National Judicial Council has uh, elected him, you know. They appointed him there where the people that recommended him to uh, President Muhammad Buhari. But the, uh, the thing is that he has today been confirmed by the Senate. I have the full video, you know, of uh, the ceremony in the Senate. I will want you to watch it. I'm going to tag it now. So after this brief uh, talk, you, you're going to see it there. So we say that the, you know, the letter titled the uh, appointment of Chief Justice of Nigeria reads, in accordance with uh, Section 231, Subsection 1 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended, which gives the President the power to appoint a Chief Justice of Nigeria on the recommendation of the National Judicial Council and the subject to the confirmation of the appointment by the Senate. I have I have the honor to forward the nomination of Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed for the confirmation of the of for the convention as Chief Justice of uh, Nigeria. That is the letter um, forwarded to the Senate by the by Mr. President Mo um, Bugari. Okay, it is 
my hope that the request will receive the usual expeditious consideration of the distinguished senate of the federal republic of nigeria okay in the making the confirmation expeditiously the senate listed it on its order paper of tuesday upon which it resolved to carry out the screening at the committee of the whole on wednesday july 17 2019 that is today okay the president of the senate ahmad lawan said all the relevant credentials of the atin cbn have been distributed with the all senators for require the perusal okay he said distinguished colleagues please study the documents already distributed in the preparation for the screening and the possible confirmation of honorable justice ibrahim tanko mohammed as the chief justice of nigeria he said yeah they went all through all those and uh, asking a couple of questions uh, which he really answered they asked him question on uh, you know corruption he was able to tell them yes he can't exonerate the judiciary from corruption in as much as they are in nigeria they exist in nigeria they can't be exempted from corruption that means uh, nigeria is a uh, i don't know what is that what it means because he said in as much as they're in nigeria you can exonerate them from corruption that is to say he believes that actually there is still corruption in nigeria ongoing so but one thing he said he said in the lower judiciary there are also a lot of corruptions that uh, which they are going to fight in any moment from now you know that um, when they, they ask him question on the um autonomy you know if you were well, able to talk about sorry of the autonomy of judiciary that if they can have financial autonomy that they will do a lot of uh, you know good services you know to the country so that is to say why they have not been doing well is because they are not uh, financial independent they are not uh, financial autonomous and he's asking and requesting for this and it reminds the senate that he will really interpret the law the way it should be you know so and they should adjust most of their criminal laws so that they will be able to prosecute those that you know uh defend the laws and contradict the laws so my brothers and sisters uh, um don't fail to watch this video that i'm going to tag that is the ceremony itself you will listen to him talk you know listen to him to the end don't fail to subscribe share to your friends let them subscribe please help me because by so doing i will be able to reach the target you know don't criticize me or criticize my video okay anyway i did not do well i want you to just tell me if you didn't say this well this is how it's supposed to be i need your suggestion don't fail to watch Lawmakers in the Senate chamber seated and ready for the main business of the day, which is the screening of Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed for confirmation as Chief Justice of Nigeria. But before he's admitted into the chamber, the Senate dissolves into the Committee of the Whole and goes into a closed door session. About 15 minutes later, when the doors are opened, Justice Tanko Mohammed is ushered in accompanied by Supreme Court Justices, former Senators, and the Senior Special Assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on National Assembly Matters, Ita Enak. Justice Muhammad is ushered to his stand, and the questions, suggestions, and commendations begin. The country is in very serious trouble, and we all know, and we see the court as the institution that will help us to be able to navigate out of the difficulties we are in today i want to hear your views on how going forward 
what assurances you give to us that the laws that we passed here will be interpreted based on our own intent. In responding, Justice Tanko Mohammed charges the lawmakers on stronger legislation that will tackle corruption and insecurity. If need be, we take a holistic look at our criminal laws. Let us amend them. It is the responsibility of the legislature to see that it sanitizes the society. He calls for financial autonomy of the legislature to avoid exposing the judiciary to corruption. What is keeping the judiciary aback is the lack of autonomy, especially the financial autonomy. We are not asking for anything more than what is provided for us in the budget. We must ensure that uh, the judiciary is also properly remunerated. Lawmakers in the Senate chamber are seated and ready for the main business of the day, which is the screening of Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed for confirmation as Chief Justice of Nigeria. But before he's admitted into the chamber, the Senate dissolves into the Committee of the Whole and goes into a closed door session. About 15 minutes later, when the doors are opened, Justice Tanko Mohammed is ushered in accompanied by Supreme Court Justices, former Senators, and the Senior Special Assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on National Assembly Matters, Ita Enak. Justice Muhammad is ushered to his stand, and the questions, suggestions, and commendations begin. The country is in very serious trouble, and we all know. And we see the court as the institution that will help us to be able to navigate out of the difficulties we are in today. I want to hear your views on how going forward, what assurances you give to us that the laws that we passed here will be interpreted based on our own intent. In responding, Justice Tanko Mohammed charges the lawmakers on stronger legislation that will tackle corruption and insecurity. If need be, we take a holistic look at our criminal laws. Let us amend them. It is the responsibility of the legislature to see that it sanitizes the society. He calls for financial autonomy of the legislature to avoid exposing the judiciary to corruption. What is keeping the judiciary aback is the lack of autonomy, especially the financial autonomy. We are not asking for anything more than what is provided for us in the budget. We must ensure that uh, the judiciary is also properly remunerated. <laughs>